taking. But let's head into this game because my word, we've already seen a bit of a masterclass from Vitalik. We've got Zywu looking good. We've got shocks clutching. Like I, I can't even wrap my head around it. And then we got the rest of the gang doing what they do. Apex with great entries, RPK being the tank that he is. And then you've got that X factor in Nevera, who I still think we have yet to see the best from. RPK gonna open this round up, entrying out through the long doors. And this pistol round is already off to a rip roaring start if you're Vitality. Yeah, straight up cat they go. They drop off though for the fight. Nevera killing rush. There is a tray, but into spawn with the tap. Uh, and this is a bit of a crazy start. Conflict Lexan pass. Oh, the backstab. Uh, killing RPK, but Shox does get past him. He could go to B. Zywu tries to trade. Conflict is trapped. Shox looking to clutch again. Surely he can't start this map. How he shut down so many others, but Conflict cleans it up. And great little lower play hiding behind the box, finding all three. Look at this. Yeah, lights, out, lights this. out from config, right? Yeah. Just tucked himself in and is able to pick it up. And I do think if complexity want to have any chance, config is going to prove to be key. Like, you know, you need your big fraggers to be showing up. And for that, I'm looking at config and I'm looking at JKS. Blame F as well on there. But I don't think, you know, like yesterday in that Astralis game, it felt like a lot of it was coming down to him and config in particular. I want, I want to see more from JKS, and on Nuke, we definitely got to see a lot of those glimmers of, like, excitement and the reason we are so hyped about this guy. Four spies in for Vitality. They've given the AK over to Zywu. They're stacking up outside of this B site, looking to go for a B hit. To do that, you got to get past this one-two punch of Config and JKS. That is not going to be easy. Config still with a smoke and a flash as well. That could be used to blind everyone, and everyone is just full white in the tunnels. It's utter chaos, and there's the lineup. Config bested in the head's head by Zai Wu. And B, now open. There's a chance at a bomb plant here. Shox has just got to get across into the site. Him and Zai Wu, terrifying duo to go up against, right? Even if it was just one of these two, you'd be scared. The fact that it's both of them. Oh dear, it's like two generations of, of French CS in one place. Two Shox generations, smoke. both done like, incredible things. Smoke down in the door. Shock's picked that up, and now he's also onto the M4 as well. Complexity, they flash through. They're trying to pick up the pace. They're trying to get stuck in. Shock's emerging from behind the box, and Zaiwu nails his wow. shot as well. They get it done. Between the two of them, they find that round for Vitality. The second going their way. And it is a harsh comeback down to earth for Complexity. Immediately, the response is in from the Vitality camp. Those are perfect flashes as well. Both Zywu and Shox were fully blinded and still they pick it all up, dancing around the box. Forced right back in for Cole. That's all you can really do at this point. Deagles, Scout, Otto saving for the AWP. Apex picking up the old sniper room right down the middle. Got a cat push from Rush. Config at top mid killed from lower. Shock's dropping hinge smoke, but they're going to try and push through. It looked like it. RPK's killed another man. Rush's cat push denied, and the mid push could not come through with a smoke like that. Apex is like, bad. If they, if they keep fighting me, I'll keep doing damage. <laughs> and Shox then swoops in to mop up the remaining players. Yeah, I think he made the call that he hit one and Shox didn't get an assist. Now he knows Otto is nearby <laughs> and he forced into Nevera on the Molotov. <laughs> no escaping, no survivors. Two to one. And we've got a full eco here for Cole. So kind of round that you just want to you know, smoke the doors, push long, stack A. Cross all B, I don't know, what else What else really can you do in a round like this? Lose is probably the only answer. Oh, the double nades into the door. It's like they're aware, it's like they know. 
Nevera getting stuck in, farming some of those eco kills, Vitality up to three, and now Complexity finally buying back into this game. You're gonna get the AWP on Otto as well. So hopefully that's something for them to go off with. I remember right, earlier on in the year when we had that switch, when Alex left Vitality, you had Apex take over as IGL. It was quite like an exciting time, but also there was a lot of uncertainty around it. He's He's been really, really good in the IGL role. And I think with like, the direction CS has taken as a whole, this idea of having your IGLs lead from the front is more prominent now than ever before, right? Like you think about the French legendary idea, IGLs before that point, you had guys like Happy in there where it was all about being on the other side of the map, you know, like lurking while you IGL your team. And Apex's transition, you know, going from entry frag at oh, 2 IGL couldn't have come at a better time, it feels like. Because even he's looking like reinvigorated by the whole thing, the yeah. new challenge, the idea of chasing it. And this round is getting laid to rest very, very quickly by Vitality. This is looking dominant already. This first rifle is shaping up to be a Vitality round through and through. And it's only JKS left. They're, they're already hunting him. They're already hunting down this last man and they get it. Zai Wu, long range Mac 10 to put four on the board for Vitality. No money once again for Cole. This is a very, very rough start. And it's only going to get worse for complexity from here on in. Yeah, that was a gun round, and they make it look like an eco, just a clean sweep of vitality everywhere, all over the map. Four to one, half by for Cole, and Zaiwu keeps the Mac 10. He knows he can make even more money, almost maxed out, setting towards B very fast. RPK spotting so they can't go lower without the info. He sees config, doubles back, but the call is there anyway. Apex with a nice spray, can't transfer. Willie and nade, a nade, rather, hit my cough button. Of course I did. 4-1 and Vitality looking to make it 5. It's a quick mid-pop. Otto's in spawn, but the double smokes come through to keep him out of there. And the double Molotovs. There is really no getting through this choke. B is theirs. Only JKS here to stop him, and he can't put up a kill. Yeah, that's it. That's the 5-1 locked in. I mean... Oh, again, Sharks. That's <laughs> two rounds in a row. He sprays someone through that smoke. Unreal, man. Unreal. And it, it's scary, dude. Like, Zai Wu, if he's just playing, if he's just having a normal day, like, just average, he's scary enough. When you, when you like, factor in that, that horrifying combo of shocks in form, Zai Wu in form, and then at that point, like, you only need the rest of the guys to just kind of have an average day in the office. I haven't even talked about RPK. It, yeah, exactly, yeah. man. It's so scary, isn't it? Like, there's so many players on this team who can step up. And be it the flashiness of shocks clutching or the stubbornness of a guy like RPK who just won't give up a sight, won't give up a fight. We're into this four on four now. At least Otto with that orc delivering the opener. Vitality get up through catwalk. They get out through long as well. They've got a lot of ground on this map and it's only getting stronger by the second. Ooh, Shops what? with the 180. Oh, he turned around. It's all gone wild. And Apex will get rid of Otto over on the short side. What is that? Shox's jump forces the leg shot. That would have been a kill if he didn't jump, but Otto hits him in the legs. Oh, boy. Trial by fire. And Otto gets burned. He may have found the opening kill in this round, but it was swiftly locked back in by Vitality. Blame, man, he's having a rough day as well today. Didn't really show up back on Nuke. Picked up very early on in this round. Up on Catwalk to the MAC-10. Vitality is spreading out, looking for kills. Config saving the orb, finds one in middle. Posted on long as well. If you're Vitality, maybe that's where you call out the hunt. Like, you have max money. You can fully send and go for it. There's no problem there, but unlikely you're going to be able to get through these long doors with two players here. Maybe just play for the stats. But yeah, I mean, almost everyone is at max money. And that really shows where we are right now. 6-1 for Vitality. I never knew Apex was so close. And look at this jump from Shocks. Just spinning. Hard to hit. Vitality, they hit hard. Looking to knock Complexity right out of this tournament without even sweating. Config's boosted up here on Cat. This could be good. Oh, no. no. They're underneath the crosshair. Apex with the opener. Straight down into mid as well. Not messing around. Not getting hung up on this position. Yeah, that puts him in the prying eyes of JKS, but JKS is not long for this world. 
As they're already into B, they've already over on the side. They don't even have the bomb. They've got to go back for it. <laughs> this is just getting, Vitality yeah. styling on complexity right now. It's getting kills too quick. They're so shocked at the yeah, pace. Yeah. They find openers like two, three seconds into the round and they've got a double kill. Oh, we already have B. I guess we should go get the bomb. We Whoa. weren't even prepared hey. for this. The Baron knows, flash high, blame, gets ahead of it though. That's at least a pretty expensive gun taken out of the hand oh, of Vitality, the but it doesn't, doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter, because at this point, as you've said, right, they're maxed out in the money pretty much. Hunt. And so they are just hounding down these players every single time. It's actually worse for Blame F there that he goes down and the damage he's going to inflict to Vitality. Well, Rush get away. He's James Bond as well, 007. Now he's corrected that with that kill onto Zai Wu. Hello. RPK, not normally an AWPer, but here it is. The big old turret on the French tank looking for this kill. Oh, the no-scope. No he didn't him. even scope in, man. That's such BM. He, like, he knows he doesn't have a lot of time, but he definitely had enough time to scope. He yeah. sits there waiting for the jump and accuracy to all that reset. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it to him. That's I'll just do it BM, to him. mate. That is like your... Tank turret's turning. They're calibrating it. Whoop. Look how, yeah, that's just gambling that like, oh, maybe I'll kill him, maybe I won't. It doesn't matter <laughs> if he saves the gun. Oh, well, we're 7-1. That's insulting from RPK. Double orb for Cole. Surely something, surely a solution. Otto found an opening kill on Long earlier with his first orb. This time he sat back on the A site. Config is in middle. Flash his way out. The orb on the T side in the hands of Nevera back up mid. So we were playing in close. Config, that's a good timing to back up. The flash has come through, and Zaiwu's putting pressure on middle. The open Otto, watching Longy. Here's the jumps here for shocks. Can he hit the shot midair? No. Zaiwu's getting tagged. Don't know where from. Maybe blame in middle, but either way. Oh, sorry, Nevera. I'm low. Can you throw me the AWP? Fine, Zaiwu. Armed and deadly. Cat executes, smoke's coming in. Are they going to commit? Well, Shox has dropped spawn for a mid to B. That is exactly what's going on. Shox is down below. JKS anchoring B alongside one of those two AWPs. He's been dinked through the wall. Swinging great flashbang, but he can't hit the shot. Apex with a turnaround. Config smoke to the back of the site. Try to find anything but two missed shots. The molly and the nade. There is no surviving this B take. Vitality and a four on three. It's a save. Yeah, and, it, and it's almost like a sad sight to see to see a guy like Config looking that desperate just for like a corner that's safe, just anything to stay alive. Oh. He's like, please, surely somewhere back here is not covered in fire or grenades, but no, he meets a very unfortunate end. Vitality, they're hunting again. Of course they are. That's how you keep winning, right? You just keep this money down low. With the loss bonus, if you're saving, if you're saving on three in particular, you know, you're good to keep buying. You're good to keep these guns out. But if you're losing even one of these players, then suddenly, oh man, but what about if you lose all of them? Then it's just even worse, <laughs> isn't it? Oh no, they uh -oh, smoked it. He is sweating bullets right now. They're all, oh, oh no. no. Apex giving us a little twirl, putting a little style on it. Mm. Compliments to the chef, Vitality 8-1. <laughs> Complexity calling a tactical timeout because it's all gone pear-shaped. This wasn't how it was meant to go. Look. He's <laughs> just looking for anything, man. It's not fair right now. Yeah, I mean, the CT side are new, because, like, oh, for sure, the first game was competitive, but it, so much of it came off of a good T side for Cole. Right now, they might not get a T side to play. They get two round CT nuke. Right now they got one round CT Dust 2 and Vitality, I don't see a, a, a reason, a way that they would slow down. They have so much money, they're not going to eco for the rest of the half. The second the bomb's planted, everyone is pushing. Mate, the bomb isn't even down in some of these rounds and they've already got half the team looking for more kills. Shox is in CT spawn 20 seconds into the round, you know something's going wrong on Dust 2. He's like, art? Who is art? No, this I am art. What I do is a work of art. Bomb left in T-spawn. No need. Just go for the frags. Our vitality. Blame. Flash into mid, but tucked was I. He was looking into the wall. Never received any whiteness, and he will show us some brightness, finding a pick. Tough start for Cole, as most rounds have been. Shocks. Peeking out long. Otto playing close. Config's been spammed through the door to three, or to nine rather. 
Oh, good flash. I mean, what can you do there if you're auto? You just full whited on the corner. Vitality setting up for this A take, moving out through long. There are two players in the site. JKS doesn't want to make his move too early and get killed by a lurker. Config, lovely shot there, but Rush mollied out of the site, has to take a fight onto long. He doesn't even get to pick his battle. RPK chooses it for him. No long smokes, because if the smokes are down, you can't kill them. So they just fight <laughs> and they just kill everything inside of the spawn. Vitality up to nine. They throw one of the long smokes, and so they fight through the gap. And they go, no, 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 no. Don't, Don't throw, throw the, the other. other. Don't throw the other. That's not needed, so. It's okay. Oh. I would love to set a bit of a challenge to our observers. Could you get us on the on the POV of, of the person dying in a fight so we see how it's looking? Because, like, with, with some of these duels that we've had, it feels like the complexity aren't even actually seeing vitality yeah. as they're swinging. The, you know, like you've seen those videos where it's, like, simple kills, but from the other guy's yeah. POV, like, that. that's what I would love. All right, Jakey, give us dying players, if you can, <laughs> in this round. On either team. That's easy. Oh, it's Rush right now. Hey, Rush. It's Rush? Yeah. Oh, nice. Great to have you, buddy. I felt more confident if it was going to be Jakey doing it. Now it's Rush. You know, <laughs> we'll, don't we'll make flame, it. No, I'm Harry, kidding. Don't I, lo flame. I love Rush, dude. I love Rush. 9 1. Look brutal this, scenes, not up, just in the server. Up through short. Dying. Otto does have this, uh, this AWP over at the car. But he's not getting pressured yet. Vitality, right? They're very, very tactful in this. Like, they've been messing around. They've been having a bit of fun with it. And now they know, like, the big rifle round in. Big buy. Big up round for complexity. So let's let's go a little bit back to normal. Let's slow it down a bit. Let's make him think, oh, all right, where, where's this push coming in? Well, it's over here in middle right now for Vitality. They faked the cat control early on. Flames already boosted up on top of the box. And he's got this crossfire with config set up in middle. First round, no one's killing anyone. Oh, no. It's the old B crunch. And there's only one player here. There's so often been a double setup. Config can come from middle, but he's getting drawn in by Apex, throwing in utility. He throws a door smoke from middle. That is AKS just getting obliterated through the smoke fake. Can't see a thing. Config's turn at the chance to make this round interesting. He's got to kill something through B, but no kills offered up. And in fact, we might just have a saving round for Cole. What, at what point do Vitality start hunting is the question. Config is still here, and they don't know that yet. This is the most patient round we've seen from the Frenchman. Tai Wu, surely he's not ready for this. And there it is. Config with one. Now they got to run back to the site. Oh, wait, we were hunting. No, he could defuse. He will not. Apex in. T-spawn. Dead to the AWP of Otto. Nice read rush. But yeah, this is a pretty uneventful round, Sam. Yeah, right? I was going to say as well, the problem with Rush is he's so good at observing where even like even trying to pick the wrong player. Oh, well, actually, he's nailed it there. That's a really good job. I was going to yeah. say, like, normally, right, even when he's trying to pick the wrong guy on purpose, the one who's going to lose the fight will always just be on the right guy. It's like, it's like Rush is actually the deciding factor in who gets the kills. Mm. Vitality on to 10. Well, not much to say, is there? Complexity. Can they get a second round? That's the question we're all kind of dying to know right now. It is really nice to see Vitality looking this good, right? I don't want to be all doom and gloom for calling it. They're at this event with a standard. I think no matter what, you just have to say, like, yeah, they showed up, they tried to do what they can, but they didn't have a lot of time. Ooh! Yeah. I think, if anything, we need to be excited okay. about what Vitality are bringing to the table right now. This is fierce, man. They ain't messing around. They're flat out, out of here, oh. dominating complexity. 11 to 1. 11 to 1 for crying out loud. Well, that was a good example of seeing players not even really get a chance. Yeah, right, that was through the great. smoke, he disappears. Zywoo B picks two at the same time, and then they just clean up the long retake. Like, yeah, it's just beautiful work for Vitality. They're just so crisp right now, and not even really needing to try too hard. The one round that they've really sweated was that cat fake back to a B take, and even that was easy as well for them. Orb swapped out after a couple shots down from spawn. Rivera running out middle. Blake, nice bit of aggression there, but it's punished. Traded it after one. At this point, you take trades if you're Cole. Orb tagged, and Otto finishes the job. Lovely stuff. Needed something like that. Apex up, Cat Rush on the other side, and Apex has the pick. Now setting up Util on A, there's only one player here. Will Apex drop? That's the bomb. That's Ooh. a big kill for Otto. He could win this round on his own. 
He'll need to. Yeah, he's going to have to, right? You don't have a choice in the matter. It's not a could. Now it has to be a should for Otto in this 1v2. Apex and RPK, two of the old boys for oh, Vitality left up against him. And RPK is just holding. He's just waiting. He's like, now nah, the kill's going to come to me. And it certainly might. Uh oh, will he be ready for this? RPK has been stood here the entire oh. round. And it's the read oh. from RPK to put 12 on the board. I love it, man. It's like all game, really, apart from that one round where everything slowed down drastically, all game, Vitality have just been holding W and running around killing people. And then it gets to the 2v1. And finally, they're like, all right, guys. You know, let's not let them get a second here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. RPK's like, yeah, I got him. He's coming. He's coming this way. Right there. And he does. Man, the changes of pace, it's just masterful. And Cole, you know, at this point, I don't I don't even know what would what would have to happen for them to get back into it. These are the kind of moments where you find yourself checking out a little bit. Yeah. It's it's really like, what hard. can you even do? Like this is vitality now with all the confidence in the world. C T does too. At a certain point you can't even like outcall your opponents. Like there's very little blame can do or say, like, oh yeah, we'll do this and it will work because vitality playing spawns, playing very fast just trading and i say trading they're really dying to to need to trade so yeah like it's it's making the best of a bad situation cole a little bit of a cat retake here apex is coming in with the backstab are they going to turn around and hunt him down yes but look at him escaping he's playing with his food he's drawing them out while the smokes are up and they need to move before they fade shocks in a great position with nevera covering as well rpk looking at the ground at car and he waits for them to pop out before he does the same tapping back and the round is done and yeah, there's just honestly not a lot Cole can really do or say on CT Dust 2. It's Vitality's breeding grounds. 13 to 1. And the last buy, the last hurrah, the last chance for complexity, probably in this tournament. Auto snipers are out. Get those Dak Daks raring to go. Apex is bringing this one back then, huh? All right, down through mid, go with the auto snipers. Nice to be on the other side. Yeah, right. Haunted him, so now it can haunt someone else. He's passed on the curse. No kills found from it though. Config was tagged in the process, but he's got that orb. That's not the end of the world. I'm still, you know, like trying to, Try to pull something up here that maybe Cole can get a second. Now, I don't think that's going to lead to them making this comeback happen. But as I say, like for Cole, they've been given a lot of a lot of rough hands on, on, on the end, like run up to the end of this year. And so I think at this point, right, it's just kind of show up at this event, see what you can do. I don't think anyone's going to be judging them too harshly other than themselves, right? You know what they're like, you know what Blame and, and Cole are like, very, very serious in their approach to this game. So can they get Ooh, it config? Wait, hey. And Blame, they've got it down to a three-on-three. Three. Bomb Plant looking to come through. Vitality, they've got this side control. RPK with that bomb and Ooh. Complexity going to group up with all three moving in through the tunnels. Now Zaiwu is here, currently has his back turned. We'll have to keep his wits about him because hot on his heels is all the remaining players for Complexity. And it's a bit of a mow down, bit back and forth, actually. They go A. No. They're running no. with the to A. They're so really, mean. Vitality are just getting dirty with it now. This is the disrespect at a half RPK running with that bomb. And so I was like, I will be the hero. I will be your hero, baby. But it's actually Otto to deal with him. All right, now it's RPK in the 1v2. Be your hero, baby. But it's actually Otto to deal with him. All right, now it's RPK in the 1v2. They might have given them a chance to get this second round. Where does he go from here? No way he drops. Is he going to wrap back or just try and play spawn and hope that they don't come from this position and he can catch them off guard coming up the ramp? This is actually a really interesting play, but he's going to get caught from Blame if he doesn't turn soon. Blame walking up on car right now. It should be a free kill. He's looking the wrong way. RPK's got deep and Blame with the taps does close it out. Cole, they salvaged something. They win a second round. It was a nice try from Vitality, but complexity showing us something. And that's all you can really ask for. It's a bittersweet ending potentially to this tournament. Will that be the case or can Cole run it back and bring us to overpass? It would require one hell of a feat and join us to see that feat after the break.
Vitality, they've done it. Oh, wait, hang on. No, actually, wait. I'm a little bit early for that one oh. there. It's 13 to 2 right now at the end of that first half on Dust. Vitality already 1 0 up in this series. And they're looking to get it laid to rest pretty quickly, if I dare say so myself, Mr. Byron. This is Masuta's easiest day in the office. It is Masuta's easiest. I did say he would prove to be a key player. And all yeah. I'm saying is, is we didn't see this yesterday. And Masuta, clearly quite the cheerleader, sat yeah. on the sidelines. Zero deaths in this series for Masuta. I don't think I've ever seen anything <laughs> like it. Let's hope he can keep it up here as Nevera takes his seat and runs wild. Vitality really running the show on the T side, going wherever the hell they want through their opponent's spawn more often than not. It's Cole running a T side pistol up long. They got the smokes down, shocks with a peak, dead to the P250 of play, and RPK does trade. Now, this could be a chance for Cole to get back in, so a very important pistol indeed. A dink onto Zywall and the boost. They back up. They know these kills are going to be hounded down by Cole, so they look to punish. The jump shot denied onto Apex, and it's Zywu and Nevera on the 2 on 4 retake. Uh, oh, Zywu's trapped here. Yeah. And yeah, he's going up for that little. Uh... Vintage jump shot into the A-bomb site. You could think of a few other French players who have given that one a go and it didn't end so well for them. So does actually end sure. up being this, uh, this third on the board for complexity. So that's at least something. They can try and build up in this, uh, in this second half a little bit. Nevera, Nevera. Oh, JKS though, up on the catwalk. There to lock it in. So call on to three. And, you know, I'm joking coming into this saying, oh, yeah, Vitality, they've done it. I mean, you know, they probably have. Nice with, how this is looking. with how this is looking, they probably have. Um, it would be unreal if Complexity can pull this back. And that's why I think no one's thinking they can. There's a power to them if they're able to get something done. I think at this point, it's more just trying to salvage something respectable here. And they're at least on track to do that. But first, you've got to get past this force by. And that's already caused them problems today, these Vitality forces. Nice nades, but they're very deep. The smoke comes in, they swing with it, and Blaine misses the shot. Hit down to 30. Might even trade that AK out. Yeah. Giving it over. Config running down mid. Now far more armed and far more dangerous. Cole taking this round by round at this point. Doing the best with what they got. Cole. 
I have to deal with this triple cat setup. Config's ready for it. Zaiwu spotting and spamming. Nice shot for Config. Double down. Maybe a third. RPK says no. It's a three on three with an AK grabbed. Bomb is on Xbox. RPK doesn't know. He can't hold on to it. But they've got to jump up to get it. So, unfortunately for RPK, that smoke, if anything, is a bit of a problem for him as he can't hold on to the bomb. But it does mean he gets some backup, reroute and try and play this three on three out. Oh, it's, sorry, it is actually up on Cat. It looked like it was on the box, but yeah, he's, he gives it up anyway, regardless, knowingly. Not a worry. Vitality have aggroed B, and Zaiwu has cleared out the upper tunnels. There's three and lower. They're going to walk out mid with a smoke. Looking like a retake round for Vitality, but no kick currently. However, lots of flanking going on, and Zaiwu's going to be in the tunnels with his back covered to try and pick these players off as they enter B. Oh, Zaiwu. Very well placed shot to JKS. And yeah, overcoming these four spies. It might not happen unless Rush can do the impossible. Oh. And it's actually RPK to steal that one away through the doors. Vitality with the force onto 14. Yeah, and now, now. Now it's done. Yeah, now it's done, right? Like, surely. Collar broke. They got $1,400 to $2,000 a player. They don't even get a rifle round in. Vitality win with a four spy, and that's just brutal. Deegs and a scout. Yeah, they can at least give us something cool to remember them by, right? That's what you're hoping for. Config is, is certainly someone who can deliver these moments. So let's see what he's able to get done with the Deeg. In blame and Otten out through mid. Zywu so holding from the crossroads, but only checking it occasionally on a timing because he's also got to watch Cat, and that's where he's preoccupied with right now. So that does give them a good chance to try and come up through middle. We're going to hinge on Rush getting this smoke off in at CT. And that's if they want it, right? That would kind of give a bit of a, a bit of a warning out to Vitality. They will do it. And so now they know what's going on on the Vitality side. They know it's this mid to B play. JKS coming in late through the tunnels. Right now, the attention of these players on the site is firmly fixated into middle. As that gives JKS a little oh. bit of room, he does put down Nevera and Rush is there to deal with Shoxi. We're into a two on three with the bomb getting planted inside of this B site, fast through the tunnels of Vitality. Zaiwu drawing the attention away into middle, and he does spot JKS there. They know he's close, and while blinded, Zaiwu puts that kill up, and the second as well. And just like that, Vitality are on to 15, not breaking a sweat yet. This has been a really nice series from guys like Config. But unfortunately, you know, it's not a one-man show, and Vitality coming on to dust. I think we're huge favorites to 2-0 this, yeah. and I think their dominant fashion is happening in is only credit to Vitality. The complexity, you know, I, I think, well, while some people already be disappointed with the showing here, I do think important to remember the standard five days before the event. And if you're heading to what is essentially like the end of the year, like world champions, is, is, uh, well, world championship is essentially what this event is like meant to encompass, like the best teams, the teams that had to work so hard to get here. Well, if you're going there with a standard, I think it's only right that you're going to have a very, very rough time. You know, yeah. I think that that does the event justice in terms of the other teams. I think it would have been more de detrimental if complexity showed up here and we're like when we're like knocking teams out and wrecking them i don't think that would have done justice to the other guys yeah there's no second chances in an event like this right eight of the best teams across two regions so yeah it's it, it's a shame for complexity to, to disappear with a whimper but we 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 wish them we wish them luck for 2021 hopefully coming back fresh faced and obviously not just dealing with the standard but a new player jks kind of less attention on him due to you know everyone having to focus on on helping otto out in a matchup like this but or you know even just preparing for this event regardless they've tried their damnedest and also the two matchups that cole get probably versus the two yeah. best teams in this tournament certainly one of two right yeah. like at least in vitality who, who are people's favorites to to make it to a grand final whether or not they win it right is going to be yet to be seen but i think a lot of people are watching vitality right now looking and saying is this going to be them rounding out the year as the number one team and for that to happen sadly that involves side swiping complexity out of the event which is what it looks like is going to happen right here right now 
A play for Call as they try and get up through the catwalk. Zaiwu here with the Galil flashed in by Apex and RPK, giving him a lot more room to maneuver. Oh. And there it is, the spray down to almost end it all, helped out by Apex and Vitality lock it in. 2 0, convincingly, never break a sweat. And Vitality's run continues. For complexity, that's it. They're done. The legacy of Otto and Co draws to a close. to be myself so when i went and found myself oh the ones who told me back then be true to who i am they think we was really gonna win now they watching us from the sidelines while we trying to victories like we getting high tides i'm getting my prize only thing my eyes is locked in on have a million mind mine i want it right now don't waste my time family in a penthouse with a few sky high blood sweat and tears bring more to my eyes because a whole gang went and i done gave my life I